Sardington. On your tracks. Get set. Go. Careful on the rails, please. Hi everyone, uh, this video is about what's inside these four tubs. Uh, one mystery will be revealed. One is a Chuggington Interactive playset that my son is putting together. Inside the tub here is a picture of how this playset hopefully comes together. There's also some constructions here. Uh, this whole tub of Chuggington Toy, the interactive one, it costs $10 for that. what's inside that tub there. There's a whole lot of Chuggington fun, but maybe We'll take a look at something I purchased a while back now at a garage sale uh, to get a head around how much toys can be worth second hand. Okay, the tub of toys that you see on screen there, I picked this up at a local garage sale. It was actually, well, it was over $200, that's all I'm going to say. It had the earlier style of hit toy company Trackmaster Classic Tidmouth Sheds that actually shrunk down in size when the next variation of that came along. It had some other bits and bobs from the early era, it had these trains here. Now, when I went to the garage sale, there was only a couple of items in this that I really wanted, but they wouldn't break it down, so I had to buy it as a lot. It also had a whole ton of the hit toy company era Trackmaster uh, classic track and bits and bobs of bridges. But the part that I really wanted, uh, and they you know, wouldn't sell it as a separate thing, was this flip face Thomas here because it's one that is actually a little bit hard to find it's one that I didn't have in my collection I think it's an important one to have very very nice Thomas this flip face one I think it's a remote controller remote controls in the other box there uh, look at the detailing on this it just looks so so nice doesn't it and I got very excited when I saw this but I played dumb and I looked at this thing as if I didn't know what I was looking at uh, the other the curious part was this Percy here, a remote control Percy, and again look at the deta detailing on this, look at the face, isn't it beautiful? I also like, this is the early Trackmaster Hit Entertainment, or Hit Toy Company should I say, back when you had a piece of track with the train, uh, that sort of all went away. I liked it when you got, you know, especially straights, because straights are so rare <laughs> in play sets. Can we please go back to that? There was other curious bits and bobs in this, um, but really there was, for me, only a few pieces of Thomas and Friends gold. Mind you, people might get excited by seeing that very babyish Thomas Wooden Railway Gordon there. The tender is there. Um, it was one of those garage sales where the people were basically hopping onto eBay. You went into the front of their house, and they were looking at prices on eBay and then comparing that to what they had on sale, and that's how they set their prices. Hey, that's the way they wanted to run it, to obviously enough to pay, and look how much I paid for what's on the table. Well, that there is the Hit Toy Company, Tidmouth Sheds, glorious bit of early track master work there. Take a moment to count the number of train bays on that playset there, and then that playset evolved, or should I say de-evolved into that there. Now take a moment to count the train bays on that Tidmouth Sheds there. An obvious question is, which one would you prefer? So, after looking at uh, what basically $200 bought me at a garage sale, we'll take a look at what, well, only $10, $20, $30, $40 bought me. You're going to get a surprise when you see inside those tubs. But hey, how's the chuggers going? How's the interactive Chuggington set going? Good. Chugs away. Chugs away, certainly. Uh, Never had one of these, uh, never bought one of these either, but it certainly looks awesome. All singing or dancing, there's Action Chugger there. Koku's coming around, and they all speak and interact with each other. So we have Brewster there, he's just run off the rails. Uh, Wilson's hiding away in there. Of course, Coco is there, a little bit of rolling stock that Coco is getting connected to. Uh, there's Action Chuggy here, and Dunbar. Is it Dunbar, the name of that one there? No, I don't know. Uh, hang on, what do you mean you don't... Why have you always struggled with the Chugger's names? I only know three of them. But I don't know what's this guy. V! There was something about Chuggington that never connected with my son. There was He could remember every Thomas of Friends name. Uh, but he struggled to remember these guys, and I think that might be an insight into why there was a downfall. On your tracks. And my son is certainly of the Chuggington era. Watch for your tunnel colour. He grew up with this show. Yes, uh, very interesting parts of this playset. Chuggington always presented really good looking playsets and toys, trains especially. There's some elevation in this set, and there's also that critter there. Do you know what was the name of that in the show? That was like the robot thing. 
I forgot his name. Yeah, we're having trouble with the names, okay? Uh, whether we're going to get all this together as we see in the picture here is a great unknown. And Bruce is going to come along here and show us how one part of this place it works. There's a drum that you put inside this thing here. You give it a bit of a spin and it will deliver a load and then Brewster <laughs> chugs away. But there's something that's actually spooking me about this toy here. It doesn't look that played with. The only one that's got a bit of wear and tear is Action Chugger here. You can see across the top there. Yes, he's definitely had some life, that one there. Um, as for the other guys, I've got to say, these guys look basically mint. There's not a scratch on these guys. Uh, it's a nice system, this. Uh, it's very easy to connect this track. Look at this. Well, look at how simple that was. Uh, I don't know how many people got into this stuff. I never bought this type of place. I remember buying lots of the interactive chuggers. I thought they were fantastic. Um, but from what I can see here, the chuggers love is only being seen on Action Chugger here. The other guys uh, look like they've just popped out of the toy box. So we've got a feel for what $10 has purchased there. It was, I thought it was a fantastic pickup just for that tub there. My son is starting to get more of the place in there together. I'm a bit curious, so I'm going to take a look inside another tub here. Mmm. $10 for what's in there. You're going to try and make it up like the picture? Good luck. Now, for me, I think this is the Thomas and Friends find of the century. Uh, there was a bit of a story to the person who sold this. He had a lot of this stuff. He's keeping a lot of stuff as well. Um, but wait to see what is inside these tubs here. And I'll get piece by piece out of here. It looks in very good condition. Wow. There's a piece here. Uh, this is one of these bits I've always been dreaming of having. I hope it's the right way around. Or is it? I don't know. You guys can tell me. And then there's other bits in here which are in bags. Uh, some of these bits I've already got, that's funny way. And it looks like that he's tried to sell this before as individual lots, but it, what he found was that people weren't really interested in it when you're trying to just sell bits and bobs. Which surprises me, and actually surprised him as well. Let me pull the rest of that stuff out there. And what I'll do, I'll get this out of the uh, bag. Uh, what is nice here, the parts here that are normally missing are here in this one, I like that. Okay, this is completely awesome. This is back in the Tommy era of Thomas Toys. Ah, uh, there is Cranky. So often the part is, which is missing is that little bucket there. It's there as well. Bullstrode is down here and it all looks in Mickey Mouse condition, doesn't it? It's all beautiful and from memory there is a battery which is needed in here. Battery area is clean. Ah, uh, it's the third one of these that I've got. It's probably, well, it's in equal condition to my original set which came from the ultimate Tommy. Thomas and Friends set. Let's come and dig in at this part here. Ooh, yeah. Just getting the bag out here. Oh, this is Tommy Gold, Tommy Gold. Oh, absolute classic, this one here. It's the second one of these that I've got. I've got the other one from the Thomas Tommy Ultimate set. Uh, listen to that. Quality, quality. Also came with one, two, three, four, five sheds. And I'd actually forgotten about, you needed these little bits of different track to key in here. Yeah, I've just totally forgot about that. Plus you could also put in the normal Tony Blue track on some parts here as well. It's in beautiful condition, I can't see any play, wear and tear marks on this. Uh, really, really nice stuff. Okay, the next part I'm going to get out, it's more Tony stuff, it's brilliant looking. Ooh. Now I think I've seen one of these before. Well my son's ditched the chuggers and he's come over to look at this beautiful classic Tommy Thomas and Friends toys. Well I'm just trying to work it out because I'm not familiar with this piece here. Do you remember when I had one of these come through before? Well part, I think we only had part of the playset. It was like a total mystery to me. Uh, I think there's balls that should have been with this. Oh there we go, that's working now. Okay, yeah. I've totally forgotten the name of that, what it belongs to, I know my audience will know. Well under there it says Tommy 2005, uh, man, uh, 2005 was sadly a long time ago. Stunning piece isn't it, it's so clean, uh, there's not a speck of dust on that. Very very nice, this table is looking very impressive, let me get out another piece here. Hmm, hmm, okay. Well, underneath it said Toby 2004. It's a stunning piece, isn't it? Uh, I guarantee to you, you will not find toys like this today. Uh, 
I can only assume that is like maybe the fat controller's desk and stuff. Looks like a map of Soto Island on there. Uh, again, it is in beautiful condition. It just doesn't even look played with. Uh, that is a completely stunning piece indeed. Well, this bag was originally marked as a dollar. Remember, I picked up the whole tub for just ten dollars. And what have we got in here? Oh yeah, looks like the builds one. Little mini build going on here. Okay, it's a windmill piece. It's Tommy Thomas and Friends, classic, classic, classic. And it's one where you could stop the engine here, and then the engine would power the windmill. And I guarantee you do not see things like that these days. I'm going for a bit of a dig here. It looks like a tunnel piece there. Um, there's a bridge piece there. Do we need to really inspect those? Probably not. Mind you, now look at that. Uh, that's looking like it sort of belongs maybe uh, to that there. I'm not sure. Okay, come in and get this bag here. It's sort of a big combo thing. It looks like Rises, some characters there. I'm going to struggle with the names. I think it's Birdie the Bus that I can see in there. I'm trying to struggling to get air. And a whole bunch of Tommy Road. Well, I will get out Birdie the Bus and just look at its condition because that will tell us how much this has been played with. It looks like it's well. It looks like it's been played with. There's not much dust and stuff getting around there because I I've got some of these and I know how they collect dust so easily. And I think this guy here is just a lorry. I haven't. I don't think I've got one of these. Again, it's nice and clean underneath around the axles. That's where you got to look with these guys. Looks great, doesn't it? I mean, this is the classic time of Thomas Toys. I think they were the risers for the road. I think. Now, I know you'll correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm always wrong. Okay, this looks like a little cutie. Look at this one. Well, underneath it says Tommy 2002. I believe that's Terence there. And I think what happens is that, once again, an engine would come along here. It's a stop-start thing there. The engine would then power Terence, and I think he just moves around uh, like that. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think I've ever seen one of those pieces before. I certainly haven't got one of these, uh, but it's a very, very nice piece. Okay, the next thing out of the drum here, and that is a mystery to me. It's red Tommy track. It seems to be going in all directions there. I've not got any ideas. So I'm not even going to bother opening that. Sneaking under here. Oh, little Harold the helicopter play piece here. Very similar to the Terence one. Well, just like the Terence piece, your engine would stop here. Then it would actually power Harold's blades like that, and you could make him fly if you wanted to. Uh, a little bit of plastic distress on his blades here, so he has had some Thomas and Friends love. Uh, nevertheless, it is a beautiful rendition of Harold, isn't it? Remember I talk about the window detailing that sadly uh, you just don't see on some of the more modern toys. This is back in the era when they seemed to take a lot more care in how characters were rendered. Okay, on this piece here, it was actually originally the price of what the whole tub was sold to me and there's actually another piece here I think this is actually bits of uh, stuff that I have been dreaming of and I cannot believe that I've got this oh my heart is going pitter patter pitter patter uh, Jeremy and his airport there and there's Jeremy looking very nice I think there was a place that where he actually flew up in the air and that's the bit that he attached to there I mean it's just so so beautiful look at that hanger there it's just screaming to be played with isn't it but I think the piece de resistance is the one my son's got here it needs to put I need to put batteries in it uh, it's Harold the helicopter on some sort of what would you call it flying mission thing it looks like he picks things up he lands things there an engine would be there and it's got these incredible controls that basically make him fly up and down this and the other one's around around and there's also a release button. Well, I'm just taking a look inside Jeremy's hangar there. This is Trackmaster. Okay. Ooh, so there's a bit of early Trackmaster hidden in with all of that classic Tommy, and I've got a strange feeling that that is also a Trackmaster. I say that because of the detailing on like that. Well, that was a trap for young players, wasn't it? I mean, look at the condition of this here. It's um, like new. It looks barely played with. It's also a reminder to how awesome the Thomas and Friends toys uh, used to be. And my son is just dying to play with this. That's a great sign. Uh, what a generous person to let these toys go for ten dollars. I mean it really to me it's the Thomas and Friends bargain of the century. I've never ever been able to find anything like this and pick up anything like this for so little.
Dad. Yes. The playset which has Harold, it's like a video game. It's better than a video game. This is what you had before video games came and dominated our lives. Apps and iPads and stuff. This is where it's at. Well, my son made up a variation with those pieces of the Chuggington Interactive playset. I do like that track plan. He hasn't made any elevation there, but hey, that's fine. He's going to be happy with a little train set like that. And he's worked out how this section here works. It's probably got a name, but I've forgotten as well. Okay, show me how it works. Oh, it makes a little robotic sounds and stuff. And music and things, which will get me in trouble and picks things up sometimes. Okay, I'm, I'm not really into toys that make sounds like that when they move. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it is curious. I didn't have anyone ever request for me to review this style of uh, Chuggington train set. Uh, not one person ever asked to see the interactive place in an action, isn't it? Sort of strange, isn't it? I think back years back in my early days on YouTube, uh, some of the diecast Chuggington train set that I looked at were the most popular toys I looked at on YouTube. Let me just decouple that. And I will put Coco away. Hopefully there is her bay there. And we'll give her a rest, eh? She's been a good girl. In you go, Coco. Well, we've looked at two of the four tubs that I picked up at the local church fate. Uh, there's still another two tubs to be looked through here. And I'll probably split the video here. But I'll give you a bit of a sneak peek. Wooshka. Okay, woo. Don't look at too much, do we? And also... Wooshka. Oh, what's in that down there? Oops, let's close it up. Dad. Yeah. Could, could you make your own track with all the Tommy pieces? That is a completely awesome thought, isn't it? Uh, my son is requesting to see basically a train set made up to see all these bits and bobs in action. And I think uh, that would be a t totally beautiful thing to do. Uh, the other tubs are going to reveal more track. I mean, I've got a bunch of uh, the real Tommy track. But there's actually some pieces here that I would like to see working myself, uh, especially this piece here. And we will come and do that in a future video. We've got to go now. What do we say at the end of our videos? Thanks for watching and bye for now. That was different. Bye. I'll give you a sneak peek into what is in the other two tubs here. And when I found these at my local church fair, it was later in the day. I turned up quite late. The tubs had been sitting there all day. And as the people who sold it to me said, they said they were surprised these didn't sell like really fast. I was surprised as well. But I think a lot of people popped the lids and what they saw inside was they didn't recognize it. Um, I recognized the chugger set immediately. Some of the Tommy parts as well. And a lot of people, I think because they didn't see trains with it, I think in the end is, well, you had the chuggers there, but there's only one Thomas and Friends train. It's actually an awesome one. It's a curious thing, isn't it? People will see a ton of train track, but unless there's trains with it, they can't make any sense out of that. Maybe that's a tip for selling this stuff. If you are going to sell it, uh, try to combine some trains with it, and then it sort of makes a set, doesn't it? Totally awesome find. Uh, I am just very very lucky to find this and i'm sure my audience would have stories where they found awesome thomas and friends toys for not very much money and you got to say to yourself wow how much would you have to pay if you were hunting around on ebay or other online sites to find this stuff it would be quite scary indeed